Good morning, weirdos. Here it is. Thursday, March 30th. It's almost 9 a.m. Central Time, and it is the, I know it now, the final day for my road trip ruminations. I'm finally almost home. And uh, this will probably be the last road trip ruminations until my next road trip, which will be, let me see here, let me look at the calendar real quick. It's going to be, um, let's see here, I'm not doing anything next weekend. Oh yeah, but the weekend of uh, April 15th and 16th, I'm going to be in Davenport, Iowa for the Quad Cities Comic Con, so that'll probably be my next road trip ruminations as I head towards that probably on the 13th or 14th and then coming back on the 17th and and or 18th so you'll finally be done with me and my just marler maniacal or maniacal that is uh, meanderings there you go and I think that's enough alliteration for one morning you can tell I'm wired but I don't know why because I haven't had my caffeine kick yet I <laughs> so I don't know why uh, I am in Monticello, um, Minnesota. Uh, could not find a Holiday Inn last night uh, when it was time to pull over. Usually I'll pull up my IHG app. I happen to be one of their gold members. Um, I've, I found that I just that seems to be the hotel chain that I like the best. Uh, but I couldn't find them, so I had to pull into a Best Western. But you know what? That's okay. It's a good night's sleep. Got the job done. That's all I really needed. All I all I needed right last night was a bed. I didn't even care about a shower or anything else. I just wanted a bed to sleep in so I could jump back into the weird darkness beast and head back home. I did have an odd thought last night. Um, with all the news going on about, you know, the guns and stuff like that, the word Antifa comes up quite often. And I'm wondering, why do we say Antifa? Why is that the pronunciation? It's, it's either Antifa or Antifa or Antifa, which is which is odd because it is actually short for anti-fascist. That's what it's supposed to be. So anti-fascist, shouldn't we be saying anti-fa or anti-fa? Yeah, anti-fa, that, that, that's, that's what we should be saying. Okay, yeah, all right, I'll, I'll stop now. I might check in a little bit later on though. Hey, weirdos. Well, let's see here. It is almost 4 p.m. Central Time, and I'm at home. In fact, I've actually been home for a little while. I just got out of the shower, which feels so great. That's one of the downsides of being on the road. You can't really find a really good shower until you get home. So I actually feel myself again, which is really nice. I got something pretty cool in the mail when I uh, came home. I've been gone for so many days. I had a lot of mail that had piled up, but one of those boxes was really special. I received something from Hillsdale College, apparently because I was did a guest lecture there. Well, I don't even I don't know if you could even call it a guest lecture, but I was a guest uh, in class a few weeks ago for a Hillsdale College class, and it was audio production, uh, radio, podcasting stuff like that. So that's the reason that they had me in. And I was there for about an hour, and I just kind of told them about what I do and showed them a little bit about the process that I use. And they were so thankful. They sent me not only a thank you card, but they sent me a big box full of great Hillsdale College stuff. I got a baseball cap. I got a, uh, a pendant that I... Uh, you'll probably see the pendant uh, if you watch any of the videos that I record for Facebook and YouTube. I'll have that in the background. Uh, they sent me some stickers and pens and a Hillsdale College coffee mug couple of uh, American flag keychains, a couple stickers. So if, if they're listening right now, uh, the Hillsdale College class with Professor Scott Bertram, thank you so much. That was really, really kind of you. A nice surprise to come home to. And that's it. I'm going to go ahead and call it a day because I got a lot of work to do in order to prepare for tomorrow's Friday Frights Live. You'd think I'd be able to take a couple of days off, but no. Whoa, hang on. One last update. I just was sorting through all of the mail that was on my desk, and there's one thing here that I thought was just left here accidentally by my bride, but no. She uh, borrowed a movie from a neighbor of ours, and I was so impressed that he had it, I asked if he would be willing to sell it. And she asked him, and he said, ah, just take it. It's yours to keep. Wow. 
What this is, is the Deluxe Edition, digitally remastered DVD of Disney's Song of the South. Yes, the, D, the, the, the band movie, the movie that they have tried to erase from history. They, they're even removing the, the rides at Disneyland that were based upon this or renaming them, rebranding them. The, even the song Zippity Doo Dah they're trying to get rid of because of all of the quote-unquote racism in this film. It is a wholesome, fun film, and you know, if, if, you, if you look at it without trying to be offended, it's a lot of fun. I can't believe, though, that this is a real DVD of Song of the South. I am a man. Hold on, I gotta open this up. I haven't opened. I have, all I've seen is the is the uh, the outside cover. Hang on. Oh my gosh, no! This is the real thing. I thought maybe it'd be a bootleg DVD or something, but it's branded in the in the uh, the the, the uh, CD itself. You know what? I'm gonna take a video of this and post it online because this is just <laughs> amazing. Wow. Okay, I just had to share that, but now I think I'm going to make a video of it just so everybody can see what I'm talking about. Okay, well, we'll uh, see you tomorrow night for Friday Frights.